All right, Total War players, we are back with the Scottish campaign um, in Stainless Steel, which, as you know, is a mod for Medieval 2. Now, um, are we preparing to invade Norway? Let me see where I'm at. I've got 26,000 in my treasury, which is nice. Um, we've captured Bruges. Um, the British, or the English, still have... Antwerp. Where is Antwerp, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's not very well developed, though. Um, they've got an army there that we need to deal with, and they that's their new capital. That's Khan, and that's fairly well developed. That's a fortress level. They've got a lot of ships out here. What kind of navy do I have? It's somewhat depleted, but it's actually getting bigger, which is good the diplomacy situation. We're only at war with the English. We are allied to Venice, Genoa, Papal States, uh, reasonable relations, Denmark, France, Castile and Lyon, and Hungary. Not Norway. And we did have to break our alliance, I think, with the Holy Roman Empire at one point, didn't we? We got a couple of ships there, and um, two units. Right. Because they've got only about a third of a stack there. Um, do we have more spies over here? How many spies do I have? And where are they? One's up in Friesland. Alright. I guess he's trying to upgrade. One's in Bruges. Alright. Then we need to get him out. He's already done his mission. We need to get him down there, but he can upgrade on the way. Alright, you're in Germany. That's Alemannia. Kerman Shah. Hmm. Alright. I forget when the Mongols show up, but it won't be too long. So we don't actually have that many agents, do we? We've got lots of priests, no merchants at the moment. Although we could start populating the British Isles, couldn't we? With merchants, because there's no foreign merchants, but there's one English one that we could try to get rid of. Um, what are we getting out of London? Some more ships. Well, it looks like it's ready. About time. For an intern. Now we've just started a <coughs> Norwegian um, slash Viking campaign in the um, Kingdoms expansion, the Kingdoms DLC for Medieval 2. And that's going quite well. You know, we're actually conquering Scotland in that campaign. So we have no favourites, we have no bias, we will play as everybody, and we will kill everybody in equal fairness. Now, I know some people have their own favourite countries and factions and units, but here on this channel, it's total war. We will play as everyone in every mod, and we will kill everyone in every mod, and we will accept this person Alright, he's shown up at Inverness. Alright, four or seven turns. Now, I'm fairly confident that the English are going to attack us, so that will get cancelled at some point. But we can wait, we can wait. Obtain trade agreement. We don't have a trade with humans, really? Well, our diplomat is in Alemania. I don't think he's going to get over there in time. Is he? I don't think so. That's, isn't that the nearest one we have? We just looked at where my diplomats were. Ah, you're up in Kerman Shah, so you could actually uh, you could try coming up through here, but I don't think you'll make it. But we'll see. We'll see. Now, what were you going to do? What are you doing in Alemannia, in Germany? 
Not really sure. Right. Well, they've declared a truce and that helps them. Doesn't help me. Right. So you're going to practice on him and hopefully upgrade. And you're going to do the same. Right. That's the army that was outside there, isn't it? They look like they're pulling back. Right. So, here's what I think I should do. Move an army and put it right next to their settlement. And they will pretty much attack me. Fairly confident that they will. Fairly confident. Um, that's all English territory, so let's land there. Put them on the bridge. Now those are rebels, we can go after those. Ooh, then just got the victory. Scottish Waters, it's the English Channel, mate. You're going to have to rename a lot of maps, aren't you? Right, I mean, we could get another diplomat, but I don't really see the point. Right, definitely need to build up bigger, stronger fleets. Bigger fleets. Right, got a smaller fleet there. Can we get some ships from here? Got more artillery. Hmm, can't get any. One from you. Oh, you need a priest. Was I getting all my priests at Edinburgh and moving them down? I normally do that in most campaigns. I try to recruit uh, priests from a particular settlement and build up the religious buildings and spies from another settlement and so on and so forth. Hmm. Right, I was going to get merchants from here. Now we got the extra general up here, didn't we? There he is. Right, I suppose we can get merchants from here. He's an assassin, they always come in useful. Now, do we have extra units there? We do. Can't we train? Well, uh, those are retrained. Right, so we don't need them. And you can go there, so that'll be an extra army. We'll be able to put together at least three armies. <coughs> Can't get the artillery retrained there. Where can I retrain that artillery? Not there. Not there either. Oh, all the way over in Exeter. Well, you know what? That's close enough to be in full strength. That army's going to have a lot of artillery. Oh, we yeah, also had one coming of age in Carnarvon. What are we going to do with him? Go and build a watchtower. Just in case some rebels pop up over there. Uh, you, use general, uh, governor. Alright, governor. Alright, so you've got some mines. I think you're growing a little quicker. Any corruption? Yeah, let's get rid of that. Alright, fairly confident that you get attacked. And then that will put the um, English in a bad light with the Pope. Crusade already in progress. Where was the Crusade? Well, we can find out. Against Vilnius. Okay. You poor Lithuanians. Hmm. Now, this is an early era campaign. So, you don't actually start with the Teutonic Order. Uh, if you select late era campaign, the Teutonics will already be on the map. So we've had some good growth on the channel lately. 
Uh, up to 522, I think, subs. Uh, see if we can get it up to 550 by the end of April. That would be nice. No. You know what? We could also go and sit next to that French army. Um, yep, see, there's the English naval attackers. Maybe they get excommunicated. We can only hope. We can only hope. Yeah, but if we sit next to that French army and we can join in their battles, in any case, King France is dead though. Right, he's going to have to attack us. Alright, what is our reputation level? Oh, it's dropped down to six. That is a bit low. See, they attacked me, but uh, they didn't get in trouble. Lost a lot of ships there. Right, so they don't have any allies accepted. Right, I want to go and talk to the Pope. Accepted. We might be able to get to the Cumans. We're lucky. Get aboard. I king. I die. To the ship. That'll do of today's time. Mm -hmm. Get over to the ships. Fleet ready. I start in fleet style. Right, how big is your army? No, we've got two light cavalry. Three units coming. Highland rebel. It ain't much, is it? Oh, you actually need a priest, eh? Can we retrain him? Island archers, that's what you are. Finally. Right, never priest and never merchant. Alright, can you take him? I actually got a reasonable chance. You can get him, but it wasn't that bad. Right, that's growing quite nicely. It's still growing. Trying to reduce the corruption over there. You may come in useful because they have uh, stakes that they can put down. I think we will get one. Oh, we could have retrained that one over there now. Alright, um, yeah, that actually reduces some of the construction costs. Right. Let's see if they take my army on that bridge. Nope. Aha, uh -huh. well it's the French who are attacking them. We could decline. We could decline, but let's kill them. Better to reign in hell than serve in heaven.
Mm, yes, we don't actually start with our troops on the field. Not yet. Speed it all up. There we go. Now that's the English all the way up there, isn't it? A very long way. That should be the French. Ooh, that's the English artillery. It's going to take us a very long time to get up here, even at six times speed. Well, the French are getting stuck in. Uh, they might win it before we even get there. We killed off 20% of the English army. We could just be mopping up. Right, we are getting very close. Go and run. Our noble allies have lost their leader. Stop. I think those are in range. Who are we fighting around back here? Mm -hmm. We are. We're definitely looking to our own men. Zoom in because I can't even see where my units are at. Let's shoot at units over here. Ooh, we need to get rid of that artillery. It's not two times speed. Thirty percent combined. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we not killed off that unit that was hiding. <coughs> was it some cavalry, wasn't it? Here we have, admittedly, but they should be about to go. Bit of a messy battle. And we could have turned down, we didn't have to join in the fight. Told you to charge. I actually lost some Highland rabble. You rabble.
Right, those ones haven't been broken. Charging very well. The enemy general flees like the coward he is. Press onward and break the spirit of his army. The enemy has badly bloodied. You do that. Lost half their men. Mighty lords above, we have captured the enemy general. That will teach the cowardly dog to turn tail and run. Right. Mm. Capture some more of them then. Got 400 prisoners. So many. Well, oh, they've completely broken. Captain Allen. Captain Clement. Right, speed that up. Stop where you're at. It's a big group. Oh no, you can definitely get those. It's a nice big blob of troops. 97 there. See how many we end up with. At least 600, I'd have to say. Oh, gonna intercept them. A decent amount of troops. Mm, only six hundred and fifty. But they're not getting those back. And I think that's the last ones down there. Oh, quite a few of them. Maybe 700. Anyone else? Yeah, a few units over there. Not many French units left. They've all basically raided off. Hmm. Here today. We lost two thirds. Right, every man should arm himself as quickly as he could and come to the king. No. Yeah, they keep attacking us, but they don't seem to be getting in trouble with the Pope, do they? Which isn't fair. It just ain't fair. Oh, what? I've been excommunicated because I helped my ally after the English blockaded me twice. Oh, come on. That's ridiculous. Stupid Pope. Right, we want to get an assassin and do you know what to him? Going to do you know what to the Pope? Right, stinking Pope. He's communicating me. I'm a good Christian. Yeah. Relations have actually 
improved, have they? While at the same time worsening. That's an interesting way of putting it. Alright, well, see if we can get back in his good graces until we can kill him. Because I don't have an assassin nearby. Oh, what? 25,000? No, 20. Three, almost. Now, although that does reduce our um, public order, doesn't it? In all of our settlements. You didn't know that. That's what happens when you get excommunicated. Right. You have to get rid of those. Uh, yes, there's the Scottish Warders. You get aboard. I'm going to land them. Might as well go after them as we've been excommunicated. Hey. Hmm, okay. Trait increase. Mm. Hmm. Are there any trade resources up here? There's some wool. It's not worth much. There's some salt, it's slightly better. Right, check the other settlements. Hmm. Right, that's action air. Is that my own leader? No, where is my leader? There he is, King Edgar. He's now 70 years old. He was very pious as well. I guess we're trying to get that one to grow, aren't we? It'll still grow. We had to put that in for public order as well. Blasted Pope. Alright, well, if I can get a, an assassin down there, I will, and I'll kill him, I'll kill him dead. Stinking poop. Alright, Duke Bartholomew, so who's their leader, yep in Antwerp or not? 